Hello everybody and welcome to Controlling the BBT Playlist. What you have just seen is the Akron Ball Balancing Table powered by Alter Activate. If you are wondering how we managed to achieve such a smooth behavior, we encourage you to go through all videos. Step by step we improve our system performances so that at the end you will be able to obtain the same results we got. Our journey we will start from system modeling. We will leverage different approaches to model our mechatronic system. And then we will move to controller design, where we will investigate, design and test different control strategies. And eventually, we will come up with the controller that was deployed in the video you have just seen. In each video, we will try to keep a good balance between theoretical explanations and very practical applications. The only requirements needed to follow this playlist are some basic understanding of system dynamics, such as transfer functions and state space representation, and some basic understanding of block diagrams. Now, let's start getting familiar with the BBT and let's connect it to Alter Activate. The objective of this mechatronic system is to control the position of the ball. In fact, the ball position measured by the touch sensor is fed as input to the controller which comparing it with a reference produces an error signal. This error signal is converted accordingly to a certain control logic into a command which drives the RC servos. And the movement of the RC servos is transmitted to the table through rodent bearings, allowing the ball to follow the set reference. And now, let's see how we connect it to Alter Activate. So once you have plugged in all the cables as shown in this picture, and once you have installed the Arduino library as explained in the manual, let's open Alter Activate. Let's have a look at this super block. Every time we want Activate to communicate with the Arduino, we need to open a communication port, and we do it through the Arduino configuration block. Then we can recognize our two servo motors, whose pin numbers are respectively 4 and 5. As inputs, they get the rotation angle in degrees. Indeed, we are biasing the rotation angle, but we will discuss it later. Then we can recognize the touch sensor which provides the position of the ball, both in X and Y direction. Also here, we are performing some operation on the sensor output. We are biasing it, we are scaling it, and we are filtering it with a low pass filter whose cutoff frequency is 100 radian per second to remove the sensor noise. What we get at the end is the ball position measured in millimeters, both in X and Y direction. Now let's understand why we have biases. So the biases at the sensor output represent the distance between the axis origin and the center of the table, while the biases at the servos input represent the starting angular positions of the servos. The first time you connect Activate to your BBT, or every time you move your BBT to another location, you have to perform a calibration, which will determine the biases we have been talking about. So let's do it. Let's place the ball on the table, and let's run this model. Using the keyboard arrows, you can move the origin of the axis away from the center of the table. We do want our origin to be at the center of the table, Hence, we do not press any arrows. We just wait for these two curves to stabilize, and then we click the spacebar to complete the calibration. In this way, the calibration results, which are the biases, are stored into a mat file. In this case, we see that the origin is placed in the center of the table, since these two values are equal to zero. The other two values instead represent the starting angular positions of the servos. Now let's go back to the other model. Here we see that in the initialization script we are in fact reading the biases produced by the calibration. Before running it, let's see the last details. Activate drives the servos and gets the sensor information at a certain sampling rate, which is defined by this sample clock. And since we want Activate to work in real time, we need to specify it through the real time scaling parameter, setting it to 1. In this example, we will drive our motors with sine wave commands. Let's run it. 
the motors are moving and we can read the ball position. These spikes occur when the ball hits the table edges. In the next videos we will learn how to make the ball follow a certain reference. That's it for this video. Here you will find the links to the alter softwares we will use in this playlist. Moreover, if you would like to refresh or deeper your knowledge about system dynamics and controls, we encourage you to check this free ebook. And finally, don't hesitate to share any questions you might have about Compose and Activate in the Model Based Development Forum. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.